So Netflix has a brand new slasher comedy, The Conference, and it's bloody. It's a little bit terrifying. And of course, the killer has a mask on. But seriously, am I the only person that feels like this mask thing is already too much and it should just stop? But I just feel like all these horror or slasher movies that they come with masks, maybe it's just for Halloween costumes that they are making the killers wear masks. But I'm really tired of seeing them wearing masks or having masks that they put on. I think it comes with the fact that they need to conceal their identity. I'm indifferent towards it. Picture this, a group of co-workers head to this not-so-fancy countryside resort for a retreat, a team-building retreat to boost their spirits before they start building a mall in this town. But they're not really into this whole team building games and they don't enjoy their bosses prep talk. This group is it's kind of funny. They're yeah. very diverse. Yes, yes. It's a very dysfunctional group and they have a lot of arguments during this retreat. While they did this conference, a bloodthirsty mysterious killer is on the loose, knocking off the resort staff one by one and as they battle their discord, this clueless group of co-workers is his next target. The conference is a Swedish horror comedy slasher based on a book of the same name by Matt Strandberg. If you like uh, movies like Scream, I think you might enjoy this one. It was funny. There's no suspense in this story. I like the fact that it did not waste time for the killer to start executing people throughout the story. I liked it. The story is kind of different. It's really rare that a group of co-workers like this will meet up together and somebody will start killing them. Because of this reason, from the beginning of the story, you already know why this person is doing it. There's no surprises here. It's just fun to just watch at the same time but this movie it was nice uh, starting it but however i feel like they dived into the entire slasher team too fast there was no even breathing space at all first we see that okay they've arrived we're well, getting it and i like the fact that there was a lot of dark comedy in this movie they, they arrived and they didn't even have breathing space yet and the killer is already started killing spree and the people were actually very close to it so you're already edging at your seat that okay who going to be the first to die in this group of really funny characters that are weird i just wish that at least they would have just like breathing small because immediately the killer they killed the staff the killer really annoyed me a lot in this movie I, he had a vendetta yes but at the same time it was not necessary to just go on a killing spree like that and it was just very brutal but at the same time i felt like the killer was lazy he was a bit lazy because there were moments where the characters were able to push him off i was very happy that there were times that they were able to fight him off i'm glad that okay some people actually survived spoiler well alert i just wish that the people were able to at least enjoy something small because they spend most of the time arguing in Angela. She was just really trying so hard to put the, the team together. It even reminded me of the office in a way, like if the office went on a conference and it would be so nice. There's a killer on the loose who will be the first to die. Because it was really funny. They're just very different yes. people. We have Lena who is just coming back from a mental health leave. She's still trying to just get her foot back in the office space and everything. Jonas is an overachiever, is a project manager, a lead here. Characters were nice. I get what you were saying about the killer just starting immediately to just yeah, execute these yeah. people because in this story the characters were i don't think they were fully developed so i don't really feel so sorry for them so just mm -hmm. funny for me that okay this is going to die we knew small things about them i'm very happy that nadia survived yes it's hard to build connection for them but at the same time they did it brilliantly because you are seeing these people and you already see how they are at a glance from the bus trip where Jonas was singing and this is what other co-worker that seemed to be in love with him in a way was super pumped it's a team of people that you would not expect to be together it was nice the characters were okay for me there was a lot of suspense in this movie because we were each to your city because who is going to be next to die i was rooting for the characters i would think that yes there was suspense i don't think it was a lot of suspense or just sometimes when you have to execute the killing they take the camera away so you don't really see was happening there sparing the details it's, it's nice it's funny at least i was laughing i like it i enjoyed it the conference just something that i just press play on netflix and it didn't disappoint it was okay how were you rated i rated the five because i liked it i was expecting nothing from it i think it was a good horror movie because it doesn't really blend away from him but you already know that this will all of you are just pretending you people don't like each other so i don't know how you are working yeah. together at all imagine that you went to a conference with your co-workers that you don't even care about you don't really like and there's not a killer on the loose so it's just really a very perfect blend and i think they did it well it was brilliant it was funny it, it was, was funny. bloody and some everything. of the deaths were funny yes they were funny but i feel like there was not enough depth to the character you get an idea of who they are through the dialogue but at the same time this was already there so i would just give it four stars but it was funny i would recommend anybody sees this i mean if you like slasher movies if you've seen the conference let us know what you think in the comment section yeah. And do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, 
for more movie reviews and recommendations and we'll see you next time until next time goodbye Bye.